Hello everyone, let's start with question number 1 of exercise 3.4. So in this it is given that we need to find the principal and the general solutions of the following equations. So whenever we need to find principal solution, it must be between 0 and 2 pi. Then only we can say it is a principal solution. And if we need to find the general solution, it again needs to be in this quantity, but in that what we need to do is, it is in the terms of n pi plus any value or you can write plus theta. So in this case, what we need to do is, we need to find a new theta in this case, theta or x value or y value in this case. You can take any term you wish to. So in this case, let's start with the quotient first. So first I will find the principal solution for this. So before diving into that, what we need to do is, we need to make a graph of all the angles we know that is this is first quadrant, this is second, this is third, this is fourth. So we have a term like all school to college. So that's how it works. All means that all angles in first quadrant are positive. Then in school, school means sine and cosec is only positive and rest of all are negative. If I talk about T, T stands for tan here and tan and cot are positive only here. In the last one it is for cos. So cos and sec is positive in the fourth quadrant. Now what we need to see here is the first term is tan x equals under root 3. So this states that tan x is a positive term. So we know that tan can only be positive at first quadrant and at third quadrant. So therefore the value for tan x could be tan 60 because we know that under root 3 equals tan 60. So this could be 60 degree. x could be 60 degree here. Now value in the third quadrant. Value in the third quadrant is in first quadrant it is theta. Value for second quadrant it is 180 minus theta. For third quadrant it is 180 plus theta. And for the last quadrant it is 360 degree plus theta. So value in third quadrant will be 180 plus theta. 180 plus 60. So 180 plus 60 is 240 degree. So therefore it could have two values that is 60 degree and 240 degree. But whenever we are writing the principal solution it must be in radians. So we have first value as 60, other as 240. So what we need to do is multiply the number with pi 180 degree. Pi 180 degree. So the answer will be in radians now. So the first one it will be pi over 3. And for the second one, it will be 6 times 4 is to 24. So 40 over 30. 0 and 0 gets cancelled out. So we are left with 4 over 3 pi. So we have two principal solutions that is pi over 3 and x equal 4 over 3 pi. Now what we need to do is we need to find the general solution. So the general solution for tan x is what we need to do is we need to take another angle that is tan y. I will assume that tan x equal tan y. And we know that tan x equal under root 3. Now from equation 1 and 2 what we can write is we can write that tan y also equals under root 3 in this case. But in the last previous section what we did is tan pi over 3 equals under root 3. So therefore what we can write is tan y equals tan pi by 3. So tan and tan gets cancelled out and we are left with pi by 3 here. So therefore the value for pi y is pi by 3 and we know the general solution is x equal n pi plus y. So x equal n pi plus pi over 3 and in this case, we need to write that n belongs to z. So that's your answer for question number 1. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.